all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your general reading but we're going to actually look at those who are in separation so if you're not in communication with this person let's find out what is going on we're going to start off with a message if you guys want to book something personal i do have a 20 dollars off promotion it'll be in the comment section down below okay all right, so this person's first message to you is, how will you react? So I wonder to what, we'll get some tarot, but let's see what else is coming through. I watch you every day online. Feels like this person is like plotting something, like how are you gonna react? I've been watching you every day. We have, I've been cheated on before, so I struggle with trust. And we have, you're the most beautiful person I've ever met. Yeah, I feel like this person is like plotting something. Like they're plotting maybe how to come back into your life, but they're thinking to themselves, how are you gonna react? So they've been keeping tabs on you. Maybe they wanna know what's going on with you. Let's see, let's pull an Oracle card here. <clears throat> this person does have trust issues though because of their past. What's going on with this person? Yeah, see, look at this. We have taking steps. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like when we, like this is like, Plotting, like this person is taking the necessary step, necessary step, sorry, to make something happen. It also says here intention at the top. Intention taking steps. They're making moves. So you may not realize it, but this person is sort of making moves behind the scenes to figure out how can I get back into this person's life. Okay, like literally that's the main message that I'm getting here. Let's pull a few more messages. Let's see. Okay, this one just fell. We have, I'm obsessed with you. I've been crying myself to sleep every night. I want to let you in, but I don't know how. So I feel like that has to do with the trust issues. So yeah, whether you realize this or not, this person that you're not communicating with is very fixated on you. Like they are watching you every day online. They have a bit of an obsession. They feel like you're the most beautiful person they've ever met. Um, they do struggle with trust, but I think they are trying to figure out what they need to do in order to come back into your life because they have been crying themselves to sleep every night. So they're not happy about this separation. They're not happy about this no communication. But I do see someone who's being very like, methodical about it like they're thinking okay i need to do step one and step two and step three like they don't want to just rush in they really want to plan okay how can i do this right so they're trying to figure out all the sort of you know steps that they would need to take okay let's see we have winter for some of you guys maybe you guys stopped communicating in the winter time maybe this person is planning on approaching you in the winter time Oh, wow, look at that. We have winter and spring. We have two cards of like timing. So that makes me feel here that this person is trying to figure out like what is the right time. Should I enter this person's life now or should I wait a little bit longer? For others of you, I do feel like this could be significant. Like spring and winter could be significant times in this connection. Maybe it was like when you got together. Maybe it was when you parted. Okay, this person's definitely getting in their head though. We have the victim card. They feel like there's something preventing them from having what they want in this connection. Like they're in a victim mentality here. Why is victim here? The two of pentacles in reverse. Why is victim here? The Ace of Swords. There's something that they want to tell you. There's some truth that they feel like they need to reveal to you, but I feel like they're really afraid to do this. Like they don't know how, and they're going back and forth about how to reveal this truth to you. Ace of Swords. There's something that they feel they need to... They have to tell you the truth. What is the truth, Ace of Swords? What is the truth? They're not telling you, see? Knight of Swords reverse. I think they lied to you about something. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. 
What is the truth that they want to tell you? Temperance, we have Sagittarius. Page of Cups in reverse. I don't know why it's not telling me. We need to get more detail on this. What is the truth? What is the truth? Something to do with emotions. Communication. Again, it's telling me that they want to tell you the truth, like they want to communicate the truth they haven't told you yet. Because with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords both in reverse, and the Temperance card here, this person has been taking a long time to tell you this. They've been withholding this information that they need to communicate to you, but it's not telling me what they, I'm trying to figure out what it is, what is the truth? Like what is it that they're hiding? What is it that they haven't told you? Anxious attachment. Interesting. I'm just that what what this made me think of was the obsessed card. Because anxiously attached people have a tendency to become kind of obsessive. Um, I'm wondering if this person wants to tell you that they like they have formed this attachment to you, or they have like a stronger attachment to you than they let on. Is that what they want to tell you? Like that their attachment to you is a lot stronger than they let on? Because I am getting that. Like that's definitely what I'm seeing here with the cards. Like this person feels very strongly attached to you, somewhat obsession. But they feel like they can't tell you this for some reason or they're afraid to like tell you the truth. But they really want to. Like I'm getting that they really want to, but they're in this victim mode. How do they feel? How does this person feel? They love you. We have loving, romantic, passionate, intimate. So one thing I will say is that there's no issue with their feelings. I don't get that they have any issue with like whether or not they have feelings for you. That's certain. I think, the, I think the issue for this person is expression of those emotions. Like especially with the communication card and the victim, the other thing I'm noticing with this card too, if I'm seeing it right, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like an outline right here of someone's like lips, okay, but you can barely see them. So it makes me feel like this person has a hard time. Like they keep a lot inside. They keep the truth inside. They don't reveal their truth. They have a hard time expressing their truth. They could have a throat chakra imbalance. So there's so much that this person feels that they don't express, and this is the problem. And they feel like they can't. This is, this is actually an issue for this person, is expression, specifically with their feelings. Because I was getting with the Page of Cups and the Temperance, it's telling me that this truth has to do with emotion. So I think piecing all this together, it looks like they don't know how to tell you how they feel, even though they feel a lot. Their higher self is guiding them to their heart. Um, their higher self is guiding them to speak this truth, right? Like to connect to their heart and act on their heart. I feel like this person has been running from their heart space and it's caused them to fall into dark thoughts, right? Um, the more this person like runs from their heart, which is their truth, right? Like what are they really feeling? the darker their life gets. Like the worse this person's life gets because their soul knows where they need to be. And I feel like they're denying it because they have this fear of expression. So the more that they deny this, actually the darker their life gets, the more dark their thoughts get and they end up in this sort of like really nasty maze. Let me clarify this. See, the King of Cups. This is exactly what I'm saying. The, the depth of this person's feelings, it's very, like, it's very strong, okay? Like, this person has very deep feelings for you, but they have been, like, running from their heart, running from their higher self because they don't know how to express this. I think this is, like, a huge fear for this person where it actually leaves them very powerless. 
but they're realizing the more that they avoid their emotional side, the darker their life gets. Like it sends them into a very dark place. Okay, they have a lot of insecurities as well. But again, I feel like this person has been avoiding their higher path. So what is it that they want with you right now? What does this person want? The two of swords in reverse. See, what am I saying, guys? Like, look, 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 look. Eight of swords reverse. Two of swords reverse. I'm going to explain this because two of swords reverse is like, like avoiding something. And then we also have victim. Eight of swords, for those of you who read tarot or watch enough of it, eight of swords is the victim card. It's the card of being powerless. It could also be the card of being in your dark thoughts as well. So the problem is, is that what's blocking this person from what they want with you is their mind. If their negative thoughts weren't a problem, they wouldn't have this indecision or this stagnancy. What they want is being clouded by their fears. So I feel like this person wants to make some sort of move towards you, but they have to overcome their fears in order to do it. So the question is whether or not they will. Okay, let's get one final message. Look, I love how we end with this message because the whole point of this reading is a no communication reading. And they're saying the silence is killing me. So if you think that they're okay with the silence, they are not okay with it. But they are trying to overcome some sort of throat chakra or imbalance that they have right now. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. So I hope that this could give you some insight on your person. If you guys want to book something personal, my information is down below and I do have a $20 off promotion. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Take care.